the top 10 British metal bands. Oh boy, am I excited for this. Yeah, the thumbnail is Iron Maidens, the number of the beast, of course, a classic. Um, is Motorhead British? I think they're British. You know, the new wave of British heavy metal. And I believe they're one of the front bands, maybe one of the, the big bands out of that out of that genre, but I'm not sure. So maybe Motorhead's Overkill. All of them are overkill, but they're, they're probably gonna pick Age of Spades because it's the more obvious pick. Judas Priest is on there. What record though? Oh, no, 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 no. I was thinking record, but they're just talking about the band. So, yeah, Motorhead is gonna be on there. Maiden, of course, is probably gonna be number one, or Black Sabbath is gonna be number one. Maiden second, but I would swap those two, even put Judas Priest. On the, on the second spot because Priest is awesome. Uh, so that is the top 4. Maiden, Priest, Sabbath and Motorhead. Uh, Venom? Is Venom British? I'm pretty sure they are though. They are British band. So them probably. There are probably some more bands out there that are British. But I, can't, I cannot really think of, about them. Are there more British bands? Fucking hell. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm kind of dead in zero right now, so... Uh, so we're just gonna watch it. There's some predictions, enjoy. Maiden. It's, it sounds kind of down tuned on there, what the fuck? Uh, a ball thrower, fuck yes. I'm just listening to ball thrower actually. One of the greatest death metal bands of all time. Napalm Death. Yeah, this is good stuff right here. Uh, music fans said that this is going to be the second flawless list by Watchmojo UK, so let's see. I'm excited. Oh, fuck no. Uh, Dragon Force. It sounds really weird though. Watch Mojo has a really weird tone. They probably edited it so they don't get copyrighted or something. The fuck is this for emo shit? Oh, there we go. Oh, this is a great band actually. This is a doom metal band. What is this for emo shit? One of the greatest doom metal bands of all time. <laughs> fuck me. There we go. Yeah, um, capitalism is hard for this shit right here, my dying bride. Yeah, this should be higher though, they're a great band. They pretty much are a flawless band, pretty much. Number nine, number nine. Uh, this is power. Up. No, not. Oh, uh, there we go. I was. I thought this was Dima Borgir or something, shit like that. But it's Cradle of Filth. It's better, but still not a fan. Yeah, way better. Because he is. Cradle Field is the real shit. I mean, Cradle fucking destroys Merida Mess if you even want to make this comparison. But uh, Watch Mojo went there. In British music, good. that is a keyboard right there. Her Ghost in the Fog. That's a cool ass title. Yeah, that's a good list so far. Uh, oh, there's some keyboard shit right there. Like fucking 
five, six keyboards on stage. That's fucking ridiculous. Um, this is... I want to say rainbow, but it sounds way too heavy for that. But I'm gonna say rainbow anyway. Yes! Fucking love rainbow. I mean, so many fucking keyboards on stage, the dude with long hair, it's classic, it has to be Rainbow, it is. Yeah, they would be higher on my list though, if, um, if, you know, Dio would have continued in the band. But otherwise we wouldn't have Dio, so it's kind of a, yeah, it's kind of mixed. But I still love both bands, you know, Dio and Rainbow. I'm not the biggest fan of their post Dio stuff, but Remo is still an awesome band. And Richie Blackmore, fucking legend. Because Richie Blackmore wanted to have a more commercial sound. And Dio wasn't up for that. He he wanted to say, stay true to the metal and to you know the real music. And Richie wanted some more money in his pocket. So there we go. As Rainbow gained more and more commercial success and recognition. There we go. It's still good, but it's they kind of sold out in my opinion. Fuck yes, Carcass. Fuck yes. This list is fucking awesome. Check out Carcass, man. Together with uh, Bolt Thrower, Edge of Sanity. Uh, is Edge of Sanity, Edge of Sanity British? I'm not sure, but those bands are fucking awesome, man. Amazing. One of the most flawless bands ever. Incarnated Solvent Abuse. That, that Necroticism record is awesome and hard work. And I even love uh, Swan Song, it's kind of an underrated Death and Roll album. Corporal Jigsaw Quandary. Just that classic drum fill. Just the, that classic uh, intro, that fill intro. <laughs> Fucking amazing, man. So catchy. S so much catchiness in a fucking death metal band. Uh, I should have. I should know this. Number five, I think. You know, I probably know this, but I can't think of the name right now. Don't say Def Leppard, please. Diamond Out. Right. Because Def Leppard ain't metal. And music fans said this is also going to be a flawless list, so... Um, I do like Diamond Heads, but I, I think they kind of... Um, you know... They kind of influence Metallica, I know, because Metallica sucks Diamond Head off for breakfast, lunch and dinner. But, you know, they're kind of too simplistic for me and I think that they influence Metallica in the right way, but they also made them easy as fuck, you know, commercial as fuck. That's why Metallica is such a big band, probably. So, yeah, they, they kind of steered Metallica in the right direction but it would be interesting to see what Metallica would have done if they listened to other bands but they probably wouldn't be nearly as successful as they are now today yeah, they have like two classic records and then the rest of their discography is shit that's basically Diamond that for you Especially Metallica. I, I know that Megadeth, I didn't even know that Megadeth was influenced by Diamond Head, but probably 
because Dave was in Metallica, they listened to Diamond Head Together, Venom, all of those fucking bands. And uh, Merciful Fate, whatever. Uh, is Merciful Fate British? Uh, they, they, they should have been on here if they're British, really. But um, I don't really think that Dave listened a lot to Diamond Heads, you know, more to other and more complex bands, but I can't really think about them. You know, probably Priest, uh, Sabbath, of course, the classics, which are gonna appear. It's so fucking hot in here. Uh, number five. I should know this. Um, Venom? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so probably my top 5 Venom, Motorhead, Pre-7, Maiden, and that's the top 5 for it. Death. Is, is Merciful Fate British though? I, I think they're American though. Yeah, the horrible life though. Not per se. It's more about the church burning and stuff like that, but uh, Motorhead, I think. Yeah, there we go. The big four. The big four British metal. Rip, uh, Rip Lemmy. I should have forgot the timer. Oh, whatever. Yeah, that's that's their best overkill right there. Great band as well. Yeah, fuck. Don't go to the different page, you dipshit. Uh, yeah, they're from Denmark, alright. Judas Priest, there we go. Judas uh, this should be number two in my opinion. Sabbath third, made him first. Priest is fucking awesome. Yep. Fuck yeah, they are. Uh, through will burn. This band are what pure, unadulterated metal sounds like, as the utter cool of their riffs and the power of Rob Halford's voice is enough to fill any audience with awe. Living after me. Bit too loud. Also, one of the first to come out as gay in the world of metal. Yeah. You know, he had balls to point that out and to not be slaughtered by it because he's such a legend. Yeah, but Merciful Fate is American or they are from Denmark, so they're not eligible, but I still love them. Uh, Maiden, I think, second. Yeah, but uh, you know, I would put Maiden at first and I would put Sabbath at third. It sounds down tuned for some reason. Fuck no. One of the largest discography. They have, they have 15 records. You know, that's a lot, but that's not. There are bands that have more, though. There, there are bands that have more. Because they're fucking maiden. It sounds fucking down Jesus. What the fuck? Uh, Sabbath. Yeah, I, I would have loved to have some, um, you know, some honorable mentions, but number one, I guess. Number one, Black Sabbath. 
Um, you know, I, w I would swap around Maiden and Priest, you know, first and second best band, and then Sabbath at third. But still, still a really solid list. The true trailblazers of heavy metal, Black Sabbath, set the scene for this entire sprawling genre. Yep. You know, they, they were the creators of it, but I would put Maiden at first, for they perfected it, and even Judas Priest. Oh, that is the sound of the end, though. Fucking hell. They are up there, but Maiden is better. And Priest. Nah, it was a solid list though, I have to say. The only band that I was kind of iffy about was um, Diamond Head. I mean, I can do without them. But they were a major influence on Metallica and Megadeth, I suppose. So, there we go. Uh, Venom, I like Venom, but they have a really shitty discography though, I have to say. Uh, like this, thank you. Uh, prediction, Black Sabbath at number one, no question. Personally, I've made it first, then said, but otherwise not a bad list. Uh, top three, top three prediction, Priest made and said, yeah, that was exactly the top three. Sabbath should be, definitely be number one. In my opinion, they should be third, but whatever. No section, I agree with top four though. Uh, section is good, but yeah, maybe swap out Diamond Head for Section, that should be good. Wheels of Steel, uh, is that another band? Napalm Death should have been on the list, that's fair game. I, I didn't know that Motorhead, Iron Maiden and Black Sabbath were British bands. You, you, you fucking dipshits, are, are you fucking real? Just look at the fucking Trooper logo, they have literally the fucking English flag waving. And Sa Sabbath is so obviously... British. I mean, they're from Birmingham. I mean, fucking hell. Rainbow are not really a metal band. Yeah, I agree with that, but they were a major influence, though. They're more of a hard rock band. Uh, Modern are way more metal than Rainbow ever were. Yes, they are. At least with their first three albums, Rising was a game-changing album in metal. So influential keyboard sounds, riffs, and vocals. I say Modern is the only one on the top 10 being outside metal, just because metal has listened to it doesn't make it metal. Uh, Modat is metal though, they are just heavy metal, but they're, they're still metal. I prefer the rock and roll heavy metal instead of the shock rock and gothic rock heavy metal. Uh, okay, uh, where's Def Leppard, Saxon, Whitesnake, The Wild Heart, Gold Flash, Jesus. Je Jesu Bullet from a Valentine and Deep Purple. Uh, Deep Purple a metal, Bullet from a Valentine success. Uh, Jesu, I don't know that band. Gold Flash is good, but maybe not for this list. The Wild Hearts, I don't know. Whitesnack is gay as pussy pop mu music. Uh, Saxon, yeah, should have been on the list. Def Leppard success. Yeah, so there we go. Uh, and then a the shit out of course, which I'm not gonna read. But uh, this was an enjoyable list. Let me know what you thought about the list in the comments down below. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below and I will see you in the next video. God bless, save, take care and peace.